Taking a look at tonight's starting lineups, James Wade going with a couple of changes. Ruthie Hebert, the rookie, from take care of a quick issue. Ready to go, or He said he's not sure how long he's going to stick with it, but just trying to change things up a little bit. Trying to match the inside play. Indiana quickly out to a 2 nothing lead. Allie Quigley floats it up and in. Andersloot had an awesome game. That one, uh, 23 points, nine assists. Malia Copper had a career. Ready to go again as Vandersloot is the head of one of the most prolific offense. No doubts. Indiana trying to find its offense early. A John Williams tie makes it in. Candace Dupree, she was patient with the outlet pass. There were hands flailing in her face. She waited for the defender to leave. Alamon gives it up again to Achanwa. Late in the shot clock, Dupree wants it early. Anderson again, all offensive rebound. You want to give this offense any second chances? Hebert on the cut. And a good recovery by Kennedy Burke. Dolson intercepts and now ahead to Copper. With a full head of steam. Comes up. Mitchell backdoor pass. Couldn't get it to go. Chama really showing her veteran leadership early on. She had missed a few games with a hammy. And Let's see how that kind of stays on a jump shot. Albon flips it back. Natalie's maturity and what she is trying to do at all levels as a player, as an outstanding citizen, to help out in any way that she can. Copper foul. A little chest bump at the end. Great movement, push of the basketball. And with Doyle, the only player back once the commitment was made. Nice assist. Cheyenne Parker misfires. India wants to get it into Tierra McCowan. Strong position, and she lays it in. They're trying to establish an inside game. Parker drives inside, kicks it back to Hebert. Tiffany Mitchell. Can't hit, and the rebound starts the break. Gabby Williams beats Hebert. And Gabby Williams playing an increased role for Chicago now that Azaray Stevens and Diamond to Shields have left the bubble. Ball. Indiana keeping it close for now is Williams. It could be. And floating from the outside is Gabby Williams. And uh, what you didn't see before that was just the power move in her step. Gliding high into the, the last six. Well, it, and you know, it's, it's all about who you're playing against and what the better matchups are for your team on the floor. And that was something that, uh, and how those matchups are received. Kamaya Smalls up to seven points in her first ever WNBA game. And they're in Alley quickly. Cross court to Williams. Back to back tonight against Chicago, tomorrow against Atlanta. They currently sit number nine in the standings, and Copper touched inside by Indiana. Nice job, little. Jab step inside and really with not much. Alamon whips it inside. Dupree hesitates and gets it to go. You see it now more than ever. Copper too strong and running the other way. Mitchell hangs and hits. You see, it's really sad that uh, Diamond to Shields and Azure Stevens have left the wobble. Pertaining to this game, though. Uh, and what happened the last time these two teams met uh, and is in this game right now, um, you know, those those are factors that you have to think about as well. But we certainly uh, wish both of those two players uh, good health. Again, Dupree inside. Lost the handle going up. A chance to run for Chicago. Copper, see Mitchell looking to get going. Still scoreless with just over two minutes to play in the first half. Vandersloot to a cutting yeah, And, and the, the good thing about Stephanie Dolson is, yeah, in their game plan here is the leads cut to 10. Mitchell finally records her first two points to Williams. 
muscles it up and in. From all different angles, putting it in warp speed. This time from the right side of the hoop, strong. Eight assists. One shy of her average on the year finds Williams. Hey. And it's just all going right back. The number one three point shooter in the league misses. Quickly the other way, banks it in. Long rebounds. Quick pass out to Ochanwa. She nails the jumper with six seconds left. Quickly up the floor, Vanders. Three calls for it. Working against the rookie has. But we've shown that when we're firing and when we're playing well as a unit, we can beat anybody. And they really showed that when they beat Seattle a couple weeks ago. And just being able to rally around each other and, and fight through the adversity that are ahead of them. One of her, her first bait shot of the night following Kalia Copper's three pointer. Ebert with the shimmy. Works it back to Dolson. Can't hit the wide open three. Copper second chance. Three point lead for Chicago after the first quarter. Really cranked it up to another intensity since. Drive at the end of the shot clock in the sky. A 20th at the fifth. Nice pass to Burke. Just a second year player at UCLA. Vandersloot, nice. Rockets inside. It's inside and has it blocked by Dolson. Good job by Dolson. Remember, she's playing with three fouls. Really the only player on the floor in any type of two foul trouble, if you want to play right now. And the Chandwa with space collects her 10th point of the night. Somebody's got to heat up for the fever. Vandersloot underneath. And daring them to shoot. As Indiana is now 2 of 13 from downtown. Copper drives. All-time leader in that category. Chicago's offense looks good. They're getting her own rebound. Be able to convert here on this second chance opportunity. Alamont kicks it out. Alamont also putting together her own highlight package tonight. This is her ninth assist to Smalls. Converting. Now thought about it. Dishes it back to Kathleen Doyle. One of the other rookies out there. Cops into McCowan and brushes Vandersloot off the screen. Finds Parker. Can't stop the run, but on the wow. tap it winds up. Johnny on the spot basket. Negates the run. McCowan back to work. Final minute in the third. Dolson with back to back baskets. Little payback there by Steph Dawson being worked on down low. Mitchell lost her dribble. And the battle for it on the floor creates a leak out. Williams the other way. Who never trailed in the first meeting nine days ago. That have been in firm control tonight. It's Parker, a little in the difference in three or four of our six losses this year. Right. And, and really the only player that we have yet to see for the sky is Alicia Jenkins tonight. They've been a good complement to each other and provided him the uh, the output that they needed to the sky team. Just this quick dart to the deep one on a pass to Azurite Stevens turned out to be the game winner with less than five seconds remaining. Balls knocks down it. Best distributor, and arguably the best point guard in the league. That ball fired inside, Ooh. and Chicago looking to improve to 11 and six tonight with a win. Could be tied fourth in the standings. Vandersloot, and in the off season playing in Russia, really trying to figure out what this team the winter in Russia. It's been another great season by the sky. Lead back down to 10. The three can't get the bounce at the end of the shot clock. And Williams takes it away. Driving inside. Nice turnaround. Inside Dupree. Met up top at the apex night. The sky have led for all but 14 seconds tonight. 
Vandersloot finds Parker, and he assists. That play was, uh, the, the entire scenario was starting to fall apart a little bit, but Courtney Vandersloot stayed calm. Rickowin wins. Copper wanted to go inside and has it stripped by Mitchell. And off to Dupree. So with 21. He said it one of the best passers along with Tisha. And there's the record to Hebert. Copper calls for it. Dishes inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's knocked down to the floor. Courtney Vandersloot going into the record books here off of this one. Behind the back. And the easy dish once the defense commits. Sweet play. Nice move up top. Coming up on two minutes to play tonight, I'd be remiss if we didn't mention that we lost a great one today. Vandersloot tied the WNBA assist record earlier. Giving it to Quigley. And there's in front. As Chicago has just five games left in the regular season after this one. Another three. Cox calls for it and lays it in following Vandersloot's 18th assist. Impressive effort. Night. Yeah, imp real impressive effort by Chicago tonight. Uh, talk about facing adversity and a great touching moment there. Tonight. And her partner in crime, 19 points in Allie Quigley. Great effort.